Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about an app that I use for some of my clients. The app is called Rewind. The idea behind Rewind, or as far as I'm going to explain it today, is that you have an app that will allow you to back up your QuickBooks online files. Anybody who's coming from QuickBooks desktop or any sort of Windows-based software knows and is comfortable with the idea that they can back stuff up just in case. Unfortunately, within QuickBooks Online, Intuit has the ability for them to back up stuff, but they don't have the ability for us as consumers to back up, and if we need to, go back in time and put it back the way that it was. So that's where Rewind comes in. Their website is rewind.com, just as I have on my screen right now. What I wanted you to see was what it looks like with my Rewind account, the one I currently have. And then I also wanna show you what it looks like to add a second account or more to your Rewind account. So first, let me take you into my Rewind. I've been backing up a QuickBooks file that I call test copy. So I just keep that real simple. I'm not gonna show you client data or my data. I'm just saying, okay, like here's, here's my backup that I have. What you can see is that it says I'm backing up all my items. I have the option for advanced restore and I have the option for copy. Copy I'm not demoing as it's $29 per copy and requires two subscriptions. I am going to show you how the backup works and how to add a second QuickBooks file to your backup. So for example, if you're a business owner with multiple QuickBooks files, or perhaps you're a bookkeeper like myself and you just want to backup various QuickBooks files, I want to show you how to do that. So let's go back to all items. This will show you briefly what's been backed up. So in this case, a term was updated. Down here, a vendor updated, a customer updated, and then the date the update happened. One of the things that makes Rewind nice is that they send you an email to let you know they've backed up your software. Let me go ahead and show you the email confirmation that I get for this file. So what you can see is this is my weekly backup summary. This is Rewind sending me an email saying, hey, just letting you know we've backed up your software. So here's the account that's been backed up. If I had multiple, you'd see multiple on the list. Here's the date and time that it was last backed up. So I think it's kind of helpful. Let me take you to my QuickBooks file so you can see what that looks like. So this is my QuickBooks file. It's the test copy. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this link in the upper left-hand corner. One thing that you'll notice is that Rewind will continue to back up your QuickBooks Online software even after you've canceled the software. If you have a situation where that's beneficial for you and you say, my goodness, I'm thrilled that I've got a backup of the software that I'm no longer subscribed to, this is a really good perk. If, however, that isn't something that you wanted, if you had been backing up multiple files and you just didn't realize you were backing up a file that you turned off or disconnected, you will not get an alert or a notification from Rewind. I did reach out to Rewind and they said that this is a, a benefit or an intentional perk. They wanted us to have the ability to continue to back up our software even after we'd canceled it with Intuit. That's fantastic if that's what you want, but if it's not, I encourage you to keep a close eye on your email just to make sure the account names of what's being backed up is the software that you intended to back up. Let me go ahead and take this opportunity to show you how to add an additional company file to your Rewind account. So right now I'm at my Rewind account. I did reach out to see if I could just replace this file with another file, and that's not possible. If I click on this toggle, my options are to add account here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process to add an account. I do need an account that I can use for demoing with clients and other bookkeepers. Added bonus, I can show you guys how to add an account. So I'm gonna say connect to QuickBooks. If you're working with a QuickBooks Online account and you have access to multiple QuickBooks Online accounts, you're gonna have to do this in two steps. The first step is to select the company or firm. If you only have access to your firm books, you'll only have one thing in the dropdown. 
Since many of us help other colleagues and subcontract with other colleagues, it's common to have multiple companies in this drop-down list. So I've selected My Firm. If I wanted to install this for my QBOA account, I would click Install for your firm. In this case, I do not wish to do that. So I'm going to select the file that I wish to back up. So in this case, I'm selecting my sample books that I created about a year ago. So I'm going to go ahead and select Next, and we'll just follow the prompts to get this connected. It says you're about to connect Rewind to Gentle Frog Sample. Fantastic! I'm going to go ahead and choose Continue. It asks me where I'd like my data to be stored. I have the choices of United States and Canada. I'm totally fine storing it in the United States, so I'm going to choose that and choose Continue. It now says your account has been successfully linked. I do like how fast it is to link the account. In the upper right hand corner, we can see there's a, a backup currently processing. I'm going to pause this recording so you don't have to watch to see how long that takes. Once it's completed, I will then show you how things work and how things look with this backup. Mm -hmm.